It's another spectacular day in the weird sports universe. I have no idea how we got here. <laughs> We're in Camden, Maine. It just happens to be a location for the U.S. National Toboggan Championships. Oh, Christ. Weird sport is usually a spin-off of a real sporting event. Yeah, scream. Wipe out, wipe out. Oh, why are you guys laughing? <laughs> Let's do it. Go time. Ta-da. All right, we got all the space. I grew up as an only child with a single mom, and so sports allowed me to connect with the neighbor kids, gave me a little more identity and self-confidence. I've never been super athletic, but anyone can do weird sports, and that's what I love about it. Weird sports brings out the silliness, not just in people that participate, but also in me. I'm at the point now that I have a database of over 500 weird sports. I'm on the road all the time. I'm usually traveling about five months out of the year. I've photographed in Asia, Europe, South America, throughout the US. When I show up to a new city, I go to a national. There's no waiting. I don't want to be bogged down with paperwork. I love the convenience because I just want to get to the event. Having something like Weird Sports reminds us why we're photographers, why we do what we do. Hey, thanks. Really appreciate it. I have photographs to leave behind of what I saw on this planet, what made me laugh, what I cared about. It inspires me to continue doing this. What's funny is when people come up to me and they say, is this the weirdest thing you've ever seen before? I'm like, well, big wheel racing was pretty good. Flaming tetherball was awesome. Live monster wrestling, that was good too. But yeah, no, this ranks right up there. <laughs>